Let us open our Bibles in the book of Leviticus, verse 30. A type of everything from the land, whether grain from the soil or fruit from the trees, belongs to the Lord. It is holy to the Lord. The time is about holiness. It belongs to the Lord. God is the one who introduced the first time the term holy. In the Old Testament, when he was prescribing the Sabbath to mankind. Now we see God prescribe the time to mankind that men can take possession of the whole earth. But a time the tie of the land belong to him. In the New Testament, we see also the term holy being used. Let's read it. In Luke 1 verse 35, the angel answered, the Holy Spirit will come upon you and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. So that the Holy One to be born will be called the Son of God. Amen and amen. Talking to Mary, the angel said, the only one that you are going to give birth to will be called the Son of God. In another translation, it is said, the son to be born will be called holy. And Jesus, while I was writing the book before the throne, said the Holy Spirit unto me, is the tithe of him. Further, in Luke 4.34, a demon-possessed man said of Jesus, I know who you are, the Holy One of God. Hallelujah. We see Jesus is the tie offering of God. What is a tie? A definition of the tie can be found in Leviticus 27 verse 32. The entire tie of the herd and flock, every tenth animal that passes under the shepherd's rod, will be holy to the Lord. Amen and amen. A tie is a tent. Every ten, ten animals you must take one and set it apart as holy unto God. Our holiness is also related to the time. Amen and amen. In Luke 19 verse 2, we read, Be holy because I, the Lord your God, am holy. If you want to be holy, my brother, my sister, you must pay the time. Numbers 18, 24 to 26 shows that even the priests must pay the time. I give to the Levites as their inheritance the ties that the Israelites present as an offering to the Lord. That is why I said concerning them, 
Devil have no inheritance among the Israelites. The Lord said to Moses, to Moses, speak to the Levites and say to them, when you receive from the Israelites the tithe, I give you as your inheritance. You must present a tenth of that tithe as the Lord's offering. A lot of people, they say, a tithe is not an offering. Now we see the explanation. A tithe is an offering. Is the only holy offering to the Lord. If you want to give something holy to the Lord, you must give the tithe. Each Sabbath is holy. A tithe must be presented as a holy offering during the Sabbath service. This is why everything that we collect during the week we present, especially the time, as a holy offering to the Lord. We see there, for those preachers out there who want to consume the people's time, you also, you must pay the time, said the Lord. And we see the Levites, they were also paying the time. When God said, a thing of that kind must be presented by the priest as the Lord's offering. Amen and amen. In Deuteronomy 26, verse 12 to 13, we will see what we must do with the time. When you have finished setting aside a thing of all your produce in the third year, the year of the time, you shall give it to the Levite, the alien, the fatherless, and the widow, so that they may be meat in your towns and be satisfied. Then say to the Lord your God, I have removed from my house the sacred portion. Jesus is the sacred portion of God. The time is also called the sacred portion. The tithe is a representation of Jesus. Every time you do not pay the tithe, you are cursing yourself. You are cursing your house and you are cursing your town. You hear that? So there may be meat in your town. That means when somebody comes to the Lord's house, the priest, the pastor must have to give them. The alien, the fatherless, the widow. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. When you do not pay the time, my brother, my sisters, you are calling yourself unholy. Common and of the devil. Malachi 3 verse 8 to 10 says, Will a man work God? Yet you work me. But you ask, how do we work you? And God answered, in tithes and offering, you are under a curse, the whole nation of you, because you are robbing me, says the Lord. Bring the whole time into the storehouse that there may be food in my house. That the same term that we see in Deuteronomy 26. Test me in this, says the Lord Almighty, and see if I will not open the floodgates of heaven and pour out so much blessing that you will not have room enough for it. Amen and amen. God is calling you a robber in society. You are called a thief if you are taking something that belongs to someone else. God says, the ties belong to me. Many Christians are claiming the blessings of Abraham. They said, the blessings of Abraham 
uh, his mind. Guess what? To obtain the blessing of Abraham, you must do what Abraham did. Abraham paid the tithe, not to anybody, but to a priest anointed by God called Melchizedek. And the Holy Spirit wants me to say something very important. False priests, false preachers, women pretending to have the priesthood. You should not touch the tie. The tie belongs to God. You are on the pew. Your tie represents what's sacred about you. Do not give it to the pretenders and fakers. To people pretending to be pastors. To people pretending to be priests. Your tie, my brother, my sister, is your holy portion. The best part of you. Jesus part of everything that you possess. We can read from verse 9 to 12 in Malachi 3. When you do not pay the tithe, you give license like Adam to the devil to steal what belongs to God and, and what belongs to you. The time is the price of your salvation. Every time you pay the time, you are saying, thank you to Jesus for going on the cross on your behalf. The Lord wants you to know that if you want to be holy, you must pay the time. If you want to be like him, because he is an only God, you must pay the tithe. The tithe belongs to Jesus. Jesus, Jesus part, and Jesus is the only one of Israel. He is the only one of God. And the Lord promised, if you pay the tithe, he will open for you the floodgates of heaven. A lot of people are complaining. How come they are not blessed? Maybe, maybe it's because you are not paying the tithe. The tithe belongs to God and Jesus is the tithe offering. And I say these things in Jesus' name. Amen, amen. and amen. The Spirit of the Lord is upon me because he has anointed me to preach the gospel to the world, to heal the sick, to pray for the afflicted, and reveal unto them the purpose of God for their lives. Surely, the Sovereign Lord does nothing without revealing His plan to His servants, the prophets. The Lord wants me to give you an opportunity to be a part of his movement through Lord Jesus' house of prayer. According to Malachi 3, verse 8 to 12, you can do so by sending your tithes and offering online or to the address listed on our website. All tithes and offering are prayed over, and whatever words the Spirit will bring forth, these I will report, and the Lord promised to bless you and to open for you the floodgates of heaven. Remember, we are here for you to help you turn your house into a house of prayer. Amen and amen.